Debs. Kind of sounds like dabs. But it actually means deltoid and auxiliary protector set. It adds weight and restricts movement to your arms. So what better attachment to add to your interceptor vest? seriousness I did find a use for these I found them to be very close to the shape of a, a very very cut down armored plate notice you have the, the space for your arms and such so I thought why not make a plate carrier and that's what I did Introducing the least protective vest since the AR-500 Freeman. Deltoid auxiliary protectors turn into the second smallest plate carrier in the world. So this would be a pretty nice, small, light, concealed vest if you are of a smaller stature. So for reference, I'm about 5'11", 130 pounds, skinny but this thing fits me pretty well. It would be probably probably better on a child under 13 years old, smaller than me, and this would fit them pretty well. And considering this is rated by the National Institute of Justice, NIJ, to be level 3A, basically stopping up to a 44 Magnum handgun, this is pretty good. I have worn this vest to school quite a lot. Nobody has ever noticed, and if they have, they probably just think it's a bra. But what's the problem with that? At any rate, this thing conceals pretty well under even this kind of tighter t-shirt. It does stick out in back. This does sometimes become a problem, but in a second I'll show you how to stop that. So if you put this hoodie on, the vest is pretty much gone, and that rhymes. So one problem I do tend to run into with this thing is the back sticks out a little bit too much. So you just have to take a little more effort in pulling whatever garment you're wearing over it. And just pat it down. A little bit. Hoodies are great because it covers up the fact that sometimes the plate stands up. Um, and for school, I do have a dress code. We do have to wear polo shirts, so the collar does tend to cover this thing sticking out here. But yeah, under like the lightest and thinnest hoodie, it is gone. So overall, if you have daps lying around and you don't want to use them at all, I don't blame you. This is a great use for them. Or if you want to make that relatively cheap investment, there probably are better options out there for the price, but this is pretty good. 3A rated, can't really argue with it. For this little strap that I used to put it together, I don't really know where it came from. There's just some random strap I had lying around. You could use paracord or even duct tape to put it together. Although it's best to make sure it's like one seamless thing. So, have this, so having this little buckle on it makes it a lot stronger. Cause I did notice when I made it out of Gorilla Tape, did fall apart a lot easier. Not only that, but the weight, also really low. I'm gonna wait right here in a second for you guys. So, using Freedom Units here, this thing weighs about two pounds. If you've ever worn a vest, that's not heavy at all. By a vest, I mean heavy vest with like hard plates, Kevlar, the whole shebang. So, yeah everyone, this is my first video. My first video on budget body armor as well. Um. Glad to see you all here watching. If you want more, like and subscribe. That's all I have for you.